and in last session we have started a new topic and the topic name was custom fields right what is a custom field in jira and how we can create a new custom field in jira and then we have revised whatever we have learned from the very first class so in today's topic i want to continue the custom fields where i want to show what each custom field functionality is about so for that i have prepared one of the excel sheet with a ticket detail so let me open that All right, so this is the ticket that we are going to solve in today's session and the ticket is I see like a new project name it is Hyundai and then I can see a new issue type name as well it is going to be services so in the Hyundai project for the issue type services we are going to create a new screen and this particular screen is going to have all these fields and as we can see each field is of each field type I can see one of the field um, is of checkbox type where I can see another field is of labels type so let's create the entire ticket let's complete it and after we complete the ticket let's navigate directly to the create issue screen and have a look how the each field type will function in Jira all right so a new project hyundai and a new issue type services let's complete that so let me click on projects let me click on create project let's choose scrum and let's choose company managed project name is hyundai let me click on create a project All right, a new project has been created and now what we want to do we want to add a new issue type to the project Hyundai and that new issue type name is going to be services so let me navigate to the global level issue types and here before we create a new issue type into the Jira instance we have to make sure that nobody ever created the services issue type in the Jira instance as we can see no one was ever created the issue type called services so let me create a new issue type called services and let me keep it as the standard issue type and now I want to add this particular issue type to the project and before doing that let me quickly uh, navigate to Google and maybe I want to find one of the logo for the services And let me save this all right coming back to Jira let me click on the three dots let me click on edit and let's upload the image And let me adjust it let me click on confirm all right let's click on update so the new issue type services has been created in Jira and now by making and use of the issue type schemes in the global level we are going to map the issue type services to our project Hyundai 
So let's search for the project Hyundai. I can find it here. Now I want to map the issue type services. So let me click on three dots and let me click on associate. Sorry, it's not associate, it is edit. So in the Hyundai project currently there are default issue types given by Jira. So I want to add a new issue type which is services from the right side panel and I want to drag and drop it to the left side panel. Let me click on save. Now we have successfully added a new issue type to the Hyundai project. I can see Hyundai and when I click on issue type, I can see a new issue type called services. Now as per the ticket, we want to add some custom fields onto it but not the system fields. So here we can see the screen given by Jira where we can see lot of fields that are not mandatory in our project. So what I want to do, I want to quickly create one of the screen and then I want to add all the custom fields and then screen schemes and then issue type screen schemes whatever we have learned in the screens topic. Now the main focus is to create a custom field at the very first point because whenever we want to add the new fields onto the screen we have to make sure that particular custom field was already created in Jira. So let me navigate to the custom fields in the very first place. And then let's make sure whether these custom fields are created in Jira earlier or not. But for now, I'm very much sure that none of these fields were created earlier. So directly, I want to create the fields. So field number one, parts to be serviced. Imagine that um, in the Hyundai company, there is a service center. Maybe where by making a use of this particular issue type, they want to capture some information from the customers. So one of the field name is going to be parts to be serviced and the field type is going to be checkbox which means we will be able to choose multiple options at the same time. So let me copy the field name coming back to Jira. In the global level custom fields page I want to click create custom field. And here we are making a use of the checkbox field type. Let me click on next. Let me enter the field name. And here I want to give the options. I do have lot of options so let me choose one by one real quick. Control C and Control V enter. And let me do the same for the rest. Maybe let me remove that. Alright, I have added the value successfully to the field called parts to be serviced and let me click on create. So that a new custom field has been created into the Jira instance. And the next step it is asking me on which screen that you would like to add this particular custom field. For now I clearly know that we do not have a new screen yet. So after I create a new screen, I will be adding the custom field manually. So for now, I clearly know that the custom field was already created. So I'm not going to proceed with the step number two where we are going to associate the field to the screen. I want to leave this particular step for now. In the same way, I want to create the remaining fields as well. So I have navigated to the custom fields page. All right, so we have created one of the custom field parts to be serviced. So before creating the second one, let's make sure whether that particular custom field is visible in the custom fields global page. As soon as I start to type the word custom field, I can see parts to be serviced and I can see the checkbox as the field type. And currently under the screens, I see there is no screen name. One, two or three screens. It is not being displayed because we did not map to any screen yet. But the custom field was already created in the Jira instance. In the same way, 
the second field name is going to be date of booking which means maybe if a car comes to the service we have to know right at what date on what date the uh, car was booked for servicing so the field name is going to be date of booking and coming to the field type it is a date picker which means we were able to enter the date coming back to Jira click on custom field and let's choose the field type date picker as we can see we will be able to enter the date functionality here let me click on next and let me enter the custom field name and in the date picker we will not be able to add any values so I do not see any option to add the values all I can do is to directly click on create a custom field will be created so second custom field was created at the moment I do not want to map it to any screen so I want to navigate back to the custom fields main page so that I can create my third custom field and coming back to the next field name it is checkup slot maybe whenever the card was given for service there should be some time that need to be entered right in between 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. something like that or maybe at 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. so if we want to capture the date and time at the same time we can make and use of the date time picker field type in Jira it's not just for the services it might be any domain it might be for any reason as a Jira admin it is not important for us what important to us is the right field type and we have to know the functionality of each field types so let me copy the checkup slot coming back to the custom fields global page I want to click on create custom field I want to choose date time picker where will I be able to enter the date as well as the time let me click on next enter the field name let me click on create a custom field was created and I do not want to map it to any screen at the moment and let me navigate back to the custom fields main page coming back to Excel I want to take the copy of the next field service category when a card was given for service when it was being inspected there should be some key names that the person should enter right the checker so we can make and use of the labels it might be anything if there is any keyword like uh, painting we can enter that value it is only for the reference purpose so we can make and use of the labels field type for that service category and let me create that by choosing the field type labels and do not worry about what field needs to be what field type needs to be selected each and every information will be given by the appropriate project lead imagine that the Hyundai project lead or the scrum master or the project admin has given us this particular ticket with all the details and as a Jira admin we are only copying the field name we are choosing whatever the field type that was mentioned in the ticket and if there is any other options that was given we are just adding to it and apart from that as a Jira admin we are not performing any additional activities alright I have chosen the field type labels and let me click on next enter the field name let me click on create a field was created and let me come back to the custom fields main page to create a new custom field and it is going to be card number where the field type is number so if we choose this particular field type onto this particular field we will not be able to enter any letters or any other thing we will only be able to enter the numbers or maybe the decimals in between so when a card came for the service we even have to capture the data right the name the number of the card maybe the last four digits we can make and use of the field type called numbers and the field name is card number so let me choose the field type number field let me click on next enter the field name let me click on create 
and coming back to the custom fields main page let me navigate to the ticket and then I can see the next field type it is going to be cascading and we clearly know right what is cascading in last session we have explained where if I choose the field value as color whatever the values that I'm seeing on the right side needs to be populated and in the same field if I choose the value as wheel type then whatever the options before the wheel type like rings alloys and other these three values needs to be populated so let's see by creating the cascading field and let's see how the functionality of the cascading field works coming back to Jira click on create custom field and let's choose the field type called cascading and where it is alright control F and let's search for it select list cascading where we can choose multiple values using two select list as per the diagram given alright the very first one is color let me click on create alright as soon as I enter the field name what happened is the custom field was created for the cascading custom field and I was not it added the options and I was not added the second name which is called wheel type so what we have to do is we have to navigate back to the custom fields and we have to do some modifications to the cascading field so in the custom fields page the very first thing is we have to pull the newly created custom field which is color and which is a field type cascading and here let me click on three dots and then let me click on context and default values option so for now forget about the context and default value I'll be explaining what exactly is a context in Jira in a while so let us choose this particular option and here we will be able to do some kind of configuration to the custom field it might be of any custom field if we enter to this particular option the context we will be able to see the same screen so here I can see the custom field name is color and I can see edit configuration and I can see edit context and I can see edit options so let me click on edit context alright I just want to explain the context functionality in Jira in this particular page itself without any delay so that it will avoid some confusions for each and every custom field there will be a configuration scheme label and for uh, we can give any kind of name to it maybe I can say a uh, color configuration schema something like that and what exactly the context do in Jira is that it will ask us for the project type project mapping to which project that this particular custom field needs to be mapped and to which issue type in the project that this custom field needs to be mapped and it is because let me open the paint real quick all right just imagine that there is one of the custom field type called color and initially we have created with two different options one is blue and one is red so these are the two values that we have initially for a custom field called color and imagine we have created one of the project earlier it might be game designers and on to this particular game designers project we have added a custom field called color so that whenever people want to add some options to it or maybe if they want to select any option they will be able to see two options one is blue and the second one is red now going forward number of projects being created in Jira it might be Hyundai it might be anything so let's take the Hyundai project as an example 
so in the hyundai project even the hyundai project people want to make a use of the custom field called color now in the hyundai project they want to see these options as the custom field color values but whenever we add the custom field called color we will be able to see only two different options blue and red right but as per the hyundai project they want to see black white red blue gold silver and maybe other options so what exactly the context in the custom field page does is let me enter the heading context okay so when we enter the context options in the custom field the very first thing we have to choose the custom field name color and in the three dots we will be able to find the option called context so inside the context we will be able to see the configuration the very first one is the name of the configuration or we can say the name of the context something like we can create a new context like hyundai context or configuration whatever the name that we see on that particular page we can give it so under the context we will be able to do the project mapping so in the project section i want to choose either hyundai or i want to choose multiple options as per the requirement for now i want to choose only hyundai project and then in the issue type if i really want to display only to one issue type i can choose that one issue type if not i can leave the issue types as global which means whatever the issue types are there in the project and wherever the field color is displayed and there these particular options will be mapped so here we will be able to even choose the options black white red blue gold silver and other in the same way we can choose another context we can map the project called game designers and then we can give the context name and we can choose the issue types if we want and in the options we choose the color options as blue and red so whenever someone is creating the ticket in game designers when they choose color field they will be able to see blue and red in the same way whenever someone making a use of the hyundai project when they click on the color field they will be able to choose black white red blue gold silver and other and forget about the context term at the moment because we will be uh, solving one of the ticket where we can see exactly how we can populate whatever we have discussed like um, in the hyundai project and in the game designers project as a ticket in the latest session and for now i hope everybody understand what is a context in jira so coming back to the jira we are currently in the context where i do not want to choose any issue type i want to choose any issue type which means wherever the color field is displayed we will be able to see those options and then if i really want to make a use of the project name i can choose hyundai so let me click on modify now as we can clearly see the custom field name color i can see now whatever the configuration that we are going to make here is going to apply for the hyundai project and here i want to click on edit options where we can enter the values of the color click on enter black white red blue gold white red blue gold silver and i can see other
all right so under the color we want to make and use of these particular options and here i can see choose parent list to edit um okay just give me one moment okay I have done one mistake so let me recorrect it just give me one moment Okay, I'm so sorry for that. So imagine that the cascading field, custom field name is additional details. Let me update the same and let me show that to you. Coming back to the custom fields page. Let me search for color. Let me click on three dots and let me edit the details. And let me update the name to additional details and let me click on update now let me open the additional details field and here we do have one context which we are currently configuring so let me enter into that context all right here what i want to do is in the options i want to remove each and everything i have mistakenly created Sometimes these kind of confusions will happen, so do not worry about it. And once I delete all these values, I'll exactly show what exactly uh, we can configure the cascading functionality. Since we get the requirements very rarely in the organizations, maybe that are related to cascading, the configuration will be a little bit uh, confusing at the very first time. But once we start entering the details, we will be knowing how we can configure the cascading field. All right. The custom field name is additional details. So in the additional details, there are two options. One is color and one is wheel type. So when we choose the custom field called color, let me add that value to it. So in the color custom field, we can do the configuration. What options that we would like to display? As I can see, edit children options for color. In the same way, there is a second option called will type. Let me enter that. So whenever someone click on additional details, they will be able to see these two options. When they click color, what options that they would like to see? And when they click on wheel type, what options that they would like to see? So coming to color, let me click on configure. And here is the place we have to add all the colors to it. It might be black, white. red blue gold silver and other all right so under the color option we are choosing all these values and under the wheel type let's choose we do have three options rims alloys and other so let me enter that values manually
all right then we have successfully created the cascading field called additional details in the wheel tab we do have three values and coming to the color we do have some set of seven values in the same way we can completely create n number of parent issue uh, sorry n number of parent values and based upon that for each value we can choose multiple options we can call the terminology in the way that we want so for now i just choose only two different values under the additional details custom field which is the cascading field so we have completed creating the cascading field as well and finally i want to create the very last custom field which is second assignee and that's going to be an user picker and once we complete that we perform the screen activity and then let's see what each functionality can be displayed on the create issue screen so the next custom field is going to be second assignee coming back to the custom fields home page let me click on create custom field and the very last one is a user picker imagine that in a car servicing center whatever the work given by the customer cannot be done by one particular uh, person right inside it it might be done by two different or uh, maybe supervisors so in the assignee we can choose one person and maybe in the second assignee user picker type we can choose the second person who can take initiative in getting the car servicing done inside the servicing center it might be for anything all you have to understand that user picker in jira will be able to populate the user details which are stored inside jira so let me choose this and let me enter the custom field name as second assignee let me click on create all right the field has been created and i do not want to map it to any screens now all the custom fields were created in jira all right now it is the time to map all these custom fields onto the hyundai project services issue type as we clearly know whenever we create a project in jira it will take the default screen given by jira right for the newly created issue type so what we have to do the very first thing that we have to do is to create a screen so on that particular screen i will be mapping all these field names and step number 2 I will be creating a screen scheme and in the screen scheme I will be able to map the above screens like for create view and edit issue operation mapping issue operations and the final step we are going to navigate to we will navigate to whatever the issue type screen scheme using by hyundai at the moment in that particular issue type screen scheme we will be mapping the issue type services with the newly created screen scheme and these are the three steps that we are going to perform at the moment so going to jira and before performing the operations let me directly navigate to the hyundai project and let's have a look in the project level screens page in the hyundai project by clicking on the project settings by scrolling down a little bit and navigating to the screens page under the issues all right currently at the moment the services issue type is making a use of the default screen scheme and if i make any changes to this particular screen scheme or to this screen it will be impacted to the other issue types as well so step number one to create a new screen in jira so let's navigate to jira 
and let me click full stop on my keyboard a search bar has been opened let me enter the term screens it will take me to the global level and let me click on add screen and here we have to give the name the project key or the project name Hyundai and the issue type name services and we are going to create a screen and for all the three issue operations we clearly know that there is going to be only one screen so I'm not going to mention either the term create view or edit before the term screen so let me use this particular screen let me click on add and a screen has been created in Jira let me open that and here is the place we have to add whatever the fields that we would like to populate on the screen now for time being what I want to do is the summary is always mandatory for any screen we have learned that right the summary is always a required field and after adding the summary I will be adding these fields so coming back to Jira let me start typing the term summary it is mandatory and it should be populated in each and every screen in Jira whatever that we create after summary the next field name is going to be parts to be serviced as soon as I enter the term it is already populated because we have created this in the global level custom fields page and in the same way I want to add the remaining custom fields that we are created date of booking and checkup slot service category card number additional details and finally second assignee all right we have added successfully all the custom fields along with the system field and if you really want some of the system fields like assignee priority description that are really good and if it is given by the project lead we can add it so just for fun I want to add the description which are really important priority and even the assignee and the reporter which are system fields and we clearly know as per the requirement we can align the field order as well so let me add these details got it so imagine that these fields are needed step number one completed to create a screen in Jira and that we have done now uh, we have to create a screen scheme and then we have to map the issue operations while creating viewing and editing we want to map the same screen that we have created coming back to Jira in the global level step number two screen schemes I want to create a new screen scheme it is because in the project level I clearly see whatever the screen scheme currently using by the issue type services is being shared by other issue types as well and that is the reason we have to create a new screen scheme so in the global level let me click on add screen scheme and it is going to be for the Hyundai project and it is going to be for the services issue type and it is going to be a screen scheme and we clearly know for all the three issue operations we are going to make and use of the same screen that is going to be Hyundai services screen so we can make it as a default so all the unmapped issue operations at the moment create view and edit will make and use of the same screen so let me click on add step number two completed a new screen scheme has been created and we map the issue operations and the very final step we have to navigate to the issue type screen scheme the Hyundai project is currently using so let's have a look in the project level I can see in the Hyundai project currently the issue type screen scheme name is Hyundai scrum issue type screen scheme so in the global level I want to navigate to the step number three which is issue type screen schemes and here I can search for the issue type screen scheme being used by the Hyundai project and inside this particular issue type screen scheme I want to map the issue type services to the newly created screen scheme by clicking on the associate an issue type with a screen scheme currently we can see all the unmapped issue type where I do not see the mapping of the services is making a use of the default screen scheme which we have seen in the project level so what we want to do we want to map 
the issue type called services with the newly created screen scheme and that's going to be Hyundai services screen scheme the naming is always important to identify I can see the project key or the project name I can see the issue type so I can match it here and I can match it the heading with the final term screen scheme and let me click on add so we have successfully created the screen and onto this particular screen we have added all the custom fields so let's check that or validate that in the project level let me do a quick page refresh I can see the services issue type will be using an individual screen and an individual screen scheme all right as I can see now the services issue type is making a use of the screen for create view and edit we do have single screen and we do have an individual screen scheme and now it is the time to check the functionality of each field type the very first one part to be serviced let me click on create let me choose the issue type as services in the Hyundai project Control F and Control V I can see parts to be serviced which is a checkbox field type which means whatever the options that we have we will be able to choose multiple values or options at the same time and this is how the checkbox field type works in Jira. And the second one, date of booking, control F and control V. And it is going to be a date picker, which means we will be able to choose only the date. It might be any date. If the car came today, maybe we can make a use of today's date. And then we do have checkup slot, which is date time picker, which means we will be able to choose the date as well as we can select the time and it will be like in 30 minutes gap we can choose any time that would be totally fine as per the need and then we do have the next field called service category which is of labels field type which means we can enter any value to it maybe the card that I got today it is related to painting I can enter that particular label here let me enter that again painting and maybe it is also related to alignment so going forward if I am the supervisor and if I am creating these issues in the Hyundai project in the services anytime that I got any car that are related to painting I can make and use of this particular field and I can use the same keywords so anytime in future going forward we can filter out the issues that are related to painting so that all the issues that belongs to the painting label will be populated so for that purposes we can make a use of the labels in Jira and then the next field is going to be card number which is going to be number field maybe 5624 we can enter that anything would be fine and if I try to enter maybe A, B, C, D, E, F, G I will not be able to enter those values because it is a number field and only the number or maybe if I want to add the decimals in between I'll be able to do that and then the next field is going to be additional where we are going to even see one more ticket in future at the moment let's understand how the functionality of the cascading field looks like I can see the field name is going to be additional so I can see the same field here additional details and in the additional details we do have two different options maybe color and wheel type let's confirm the same color and wheel type and if we choose color these values needs to be populated and if we choose field type these values needs to be populated so let me select color as soon as I click on color I can see the options like black white red blue gold silver and other we can choose anything and then we can go to next field by chance if I choose wheel type I will be able to select its child options as well maybe to be very precise 
like rings, alloys and others. So we can make and use of the cascading field in this way. And then the next one is the assignee who is going to work on the issue. And maybe imagine that this particular issue needs to be addressed by two different people in the team. This particular second assignee custom field will be act as a user picker which will be as similar to the assignee and the reporter field where we will be able to populate the people that belongs to Jira. I can see Oliver James name. It has been almost populated. And if I start to type the term Suresh or something, this will not be there because it was not ever created in Jira. So we will be able to pull up the people that belongs to the Jira instance. And this is how we can create an issue in Jira. And this is how we can make and use of the various custom fields with the various field types in Jira. Alright, so we are talking about an issue type called bug. So on this particular screen we want to make and use of the field called parts to be replaced. And forget about shared by two projects at the moment. I just want to show you an example. Uh, or even you can imagine in the game developers project as well as the software development project. Even I want to make a note of this requirement just to avoid the confusions. Alright, in these two projects. So on this particular screen what I want to do, I want to add the field called parts to be replaced. So let me enter that. Sorry, parts to be serviced. Now I have entered the, val uh, the field to this particular bug issue type in these two projects. So whenever I create an issue in the game designers project or software development project by making a use of the bug issue type, I will be able to see the new custom field but when I click on the options I will be able to see steering wheel, windscreen, headlights, engine brakes, fuel tank which is being currently used by some other project like um, Hyundai but as per the project game designers and software developers they want to see these particular options whenever they choose the custom field called parts to be serviced so in this particular place the context comes into picture step number one we have to navigate to the global level custom fields page and then we have to search for the custom field parts to be serviced and then we have to navigate to the context of that particular custom field and then we have to create a new context inside it and we have to name the context and we have to map the project and issue type if needed or we can leave the issue type and then if we save it what will happen is that whenever we choose the game designers and, and whenever we choose the parts to be serviced we will be able to see these three options. It is because in the context of the parts to be serviced custom field we have created a new context and then we have mapped that particular context to the project and to the issue type. So in this context we can add the necessary options maybe which are keyboard monitors and speakers. So based upon the mapping, we will be able to see the options and this is what exactly the context means in Jira. So let's perform that and let's complete today's session. Step number one, custom fields page. Step number two, we have to navigate to the parts to be serviced, custom field. Let me take the copy of the custom field name. Let me navigate to Jira, let me cancel it. Let me go to the home page and from here let me click on full stop on my keyboard, search bar open and I want to navigate to the custom fields in the global level. And I want to search for the custom field parts to be serviced and why it's not showing. 
parts to be serviced okay i just uh, enter the typo if we want we can even correct it by clicking on edit details all right so we have to navigate to the custom fields step number three either we can click on three dots and we can click on context or even we can navigate by clicking on this anything would be fine let me click on context so whatever the default context was there it is being populated in all the projects it might be in the game designers or even it might be in the software development wherever the parts to be replaced custom field is listed now in order to avoid that we can create a new context inside this particular page so let me click on add new context and here we have to give the name maybe i will be giving the project names that would be totally fine and i can give context or if i really want i can enter this naming is not that much important in this page anything would be fine and here i do not want to mention anything like bug development or epic all i want is wherever there is a field if the field is in bug i want to see these options if the field is in services i want to see this option so i'm not going to give any kind of mapping for the issue types i want to leave as it is but i want to do the project mapping the very first one game designers as well as software development so i have selected two different values i have done the mapping let me click on add all right as we can see the default one where there is no project mapping will make a use of this particular options and here we can see the issue type mapping and we can see the project names like game designers and software development whatever the options that we add here will be populated there so let me click on edit options and here is the place we choose the options that we want i want to add keyboard i want to add monitor and finally i want to add speakers and i want to add others let me click on add so now it is the time to give a try let me click on create and for the game designers project if i navigate to bug and if i scroll down parts to be serviced i'll be able to see keyboard monitor speakers and others and in the second tab i want to click on create and i want to navigate to the hyundai project in the services there is a field called parts to be serviced and when i click on it i can see steering wheel wind strain speedometer so by making a use of the context we will be able to choose the own options based upon the project and issue type mapping and it is going to be an interview question the interviewer might ask like i have a project abc and i have a project xyz and there is one custom field so whenever i click on that particular custom field in the abc project i want to see options like 1 2 3 and in the xyz project whenever i click on that custom field i want to see the options like 4 5 6 as a jira admin what would what would be your approach so what we can talk about is about the context functionality that we have in the custom fields so we can explain the same to the interviewer so it is one of the interview question that we can talk about. all right so in today's session we have learned and we have seen what are the different field types and how will it be visualized on the issue screens it might be on create view we have even learned what is cascading though it is little bit confusing do not worry about it so after we complete all the sessions we will be having one of the final session where we are going to solve almost like 20 tickets on that particular two days so at that time we will be taking the cascading field as an example until that please follow the video and just understand how to create the cascading field type that would be totally good and then in today's session we have learned what is the context and how we can populate different options by making a use of the context in jira